What is up everybody, let's talk about the VVVos demo. I thought it was very solid and I'm so glad that it was not just a video, but a real functioning product. And as I was watching this awesome demo, I had a few thoughts that came up in my mind that I would love to share with you guys and I would love to get your feedbacks as well. The first thing is that I noticed the amount of accessories that people would need to have a decent showroom. I mean, look at the, the number of trees, lights, shelves, walls, and all the things that Dan has in his showroom that's a lot and the thing about these accessories is that people will need to buy them using omi and 100 of the omis used to buy accessories will be burned so that is something to be very excited about because when people go to the vivos and you know design their own showrooms they will need a lot of accessories and that will burn a ton of omi which is good for omi holders like us think about real life if you have a wine collection or any collection or if you just have a house you would need things in the house like you need tables and chairs and especially if you have let's just say a sneaker collection you will need these beautiful transparent clear plastic boxes uh, for you to you know put your sneakers in and look at them because you treasure them right and that's the same to uh, comic book collectors toys collectors video game collectors they all need accessories and accessories in real life can cost a lot of money if you have a big collection and that will be the same to the accessories that we will need in the vivos as an omi holder i'm very excited because people will buy accessories. They have to buy from VV and that will burn lots of Omi. Secondly, and this is more of a challenge and something that the Ecomi VV team will have to figure out as they go, is the fact that they will have to answer themselves. How can they create that demand, that need, that purpose for people to go into the VV metaverse? If we think about metaverses, I think the concept at the, at the high level is awesome, okay? It is an environment where regardless of your physical location people can come together socialize and especially for vivi if you are for example a star wars fan doesn't matter if you are in north america africa europe asia australia you can all go to the same showroom same star wars showroom and talk about your favorite collectibles darth vader or 2d2 whatever right that's awesome but the reality about metaverses is that for example let's take the central end the central end is a huge and very popular metaverse product but the problem with the central end is that uh, last October, October 2022, on average, there were only 650 active daily users. That's terrible. That is a very disappointing metric. If you think about the resources and the time and effort that went in to build that metaverse, which is a lot, that's terrible. Okay. And I think that might be a problem that the VV team will have to face when they try to create that demand. Okay. They have to help people answer the question why should I come into the VVverse? And I'm very glad that they had some element built into the viewers that will create that demand and let's talk about them the first element is gamification the moment that Dan mentioned how we can get in our Lamborghini or DeLorean and race around I did see the floor of the DeLorean version 1 went up 20% so people seem to respond very positively to that idea and I think gaming has always been the the number one example that people can think of when they try to familiar themselves with the concept of the metaverse and i'm so glad that there are some gaming elements incorporated into the viewers because that would definitely get people to tune in and i think that in the upcoming months i think there will be a lot of speculations on whether the marvel mighties will be gamified as well because um, dan did mention the concept of ip branded cities so there might be a marvel town a disney city a star wars city or whatever where the fans can come in they can share the same experience they can socialize for example you know what if you have a batman and you go to the dc city if you have a batman you can see the premiere of the next batman or joker movie i can totally see that happen you know it's very simple it's just putting a video and a token gated personality into that particular city so besides gamification that social aspect of uniting fans from different ips and providing them with very unique experience
items that you can only get inside the metaverse inside that town which is built by the specific ips will pull a lot of people in the next thing that i'm very excited about is the scripting language because it is essentially a way for outside developers to come in and develop games experience product and services and the fact that the team is allowing outside developers to come in and create those things is huge because nowadays there are not that many metaverses that are considered successful i think the most successful metaverse until today is roblox and roblox is successful because it allow outside developers to come in and create games and experiences that everybody can enjoy because vivi and nikomi themselves cannot do everything they certainly don't have the time the resources and the creativity to do everything at once okay their core competency is to be an nft platform the rest i think it's better to have that contribution that creativity flowing in from other people as well the next element that i think will bring many new users who might not be familiar with vivi or omi into the vivos is the fact that they are allowing non vv ips non vv nfts to come into the metaverse and the reason why i am excited about that particular element is because i was one of the folks who knew about omi as an nft or metaverse token before i knew about vivi as an nft platform so i onboarded vivi through omi there are different ways that people can onboard to become a vivi user uh, for me it was omi and i bet for many other people as well it will be through the fact that they can bring their nfts into the viviverse and have the same experiences that uh, us vivi users can have people can hop on deloreans and lamborghini and race around what if they allow folks who may not have any vv nft or may not have any nft at all to come in rent those collectibles and enjoy the same experience um with other vv users i think that'll be awesome i think that will be, that will open the gate to onboard so many new users to come in because where else can you race uh and you know hop on a delorean which is a dream for those who have watched the movie ready play one and race it again a supercar like lamborghini or the vehicles from 007 i think that would be so awesome the last thing i want to talk about is setting expectation okay i know that the team provided some timeline for the different phases of the oup the mcp and now the vviverse but something that i always try to tell myself that i think will be beneficial for everybody to have is whatever timeline that vv gives us multiply that by one and a half or even two and that will be when they actually release the fully functioning product always set your expectations low and if they can surprise us with an on-time delivery then that is a bonus and that's awesome that is it you guys i hope that you have enjoyed my analysis and you know my thoughts on the vivivos demo i am very happy to see it i am so glad that the team was able to deliver something that is fully functional and something that created a lot of positive sentiment within the vv community uh, because that's exactly what we need i think the fact that there are so much connection between Vivi and Ecomi in terms of the collectibles and how they are displayed in the Viverse and the Omi token is the foundation of the Viverse make the future very exciting for both uh, the collectibles and the Omi tokens again if you enjoyed this video let me know what you think in the comments section below give it a like and last but not least subscribe so that you don't miss out on the actionable and valuable insights brought to you by Vivi experts and biggest wells will help you to make better decisions thank you so much for being here guys I hope to see you again next time. Peace.